Hi, my name is Brian Capo, and welcome to the Ask Brian part of our weekly newsletter. So today I'm going to answer what is easily the most frequent question that I get whenever I do something like this, which is to somehow define or differentiate a data scientist from a statistician, a computer scientist, a data engineer, and all these other fields. So being a new field, a uh, data scientist is kind of an undefined job description at this point. Um, and they're, they're sort of bridge researchers um, in the sense that, um, you know, I, I, I like to use dungeon, Dungeons and Dragons as an analogy. Um, you know, so, that, so there were wizards in Dungeons and Dragons, the wizards cast spells, and then there were knights in Dungeons and Dragons, the knights would fight you with a mace or a sword or whatever. Um, and the wizards were great at casting spells, but if they ran across something that, that you couldn't cast a spell on, then the, the wizards were next useless. Knights were great at fighting, but if they ran across something that you couldn't swing a sword or a mace at, they, they were you like a ghost, right? Like they were useless. So there were these things called paladins, right? Paladins were sort of half wizard, half knight, and they could do both. Um, so, and of course, if you're like a Dungeons and Dragons maniac, um, obviously I'm getting this wrong. So uh, don't email and let me know. Uh, I acknowledge that. Um, but having said that, so, so the paladins, in my mind at least, are sort of like what I think of a data scientist. The first thing I would say is that a data scientist tends to be like a bridge researcher. They have skills from statistics, they have skills from computer science, they have skills from data en engineering, and so on. So they, they tend to sit more in the middle of these fields. And uh, kind of a second aspect of being a data scientist is the content that they pull from these fields tends to be the more practical aspects of it. So when they know some statistics, they tend to know the, the core parts of, of applied statistics and methodological statistics, and maybe a little bit of theory, but, but only kind of the component of theory that's actually very useful in a day-to-day -day practice. And they tend to know the, co the components of computer science that are relevant for things like data engineering and algorithms and programming, but they would know less about kind of um, you know, a big O, little O type, type, uh, you know, or uh, type, type things for, for computer science. So I think there's an element of, of just by virtue of being gen general data oriented problem solvers that what they tend to do is bring in the most practical aspects of these other fields and know them. Uh, I, I, I would also say that data scientists, in terms of their differentiation between statistics, is uh, statisticians, and I, I would firmly classify myself as a statistician. My training is in statistics. I'm, I'm a professor of biostatistics, so I, I'm firmly in the statistics camp. Um, one way in which I think how data scientists tend to think about statistics and statisticians tend to think about statistics is data scientists really like to sort of live in the data a little bit more, whereas statisticians um, also work in the data, of course, but, the, but they also really try to connect the data to, uh, to a population or something like that with a conceptual model. So statisticians tend to think a lot more in terms of the conceptual model and things like assumptions, and, and they tend to be more comfortable with, with that aspect of model building. And I think that's why in sort of data science world, um, very data-oriented tools like bootstrapping and permutation testing and things like that are, are, are highly preferred. And, and, and machine learning, for example, is very data science-y because the way you tend to evaluate the performance of machine learning is using stuff like cross-validation and data splitting and trying it on a new data set, which is a different way to get at statistical concepts like avoiding overfitting and generalizability without having to make a lot of statistical assumptions like ID draws from population and that sort of thing. So I do notice that in terms of differentiating data scientists from statisticians is that they do tend to like to stay inside the data as much as possible. Now, having said that, data scientists, you know, know tend to know a lot of statistics. They tend to um, understand, you know, things like the the sorts of assumptions that go into statistical modeling. Uh, but I think if you're a statistician, you're going to live in that kind of modeling world a lot more. Um, so, in terms, the the uh, you know, it's kind of a sub part of this question I get is kind of professionally, what's the difference? Um, I think. Uh, you know, a person who's a data scientist is often going to be hired as a general data-oriented problem solver. And um, the term can mean quite a, quite a bit, uh, a, a, quite many different things depending on who's doing the hiring. 
Um, on one end, you can have uh, people who want data scientists that are much closer to what I would describe as data engineers. What they really want are people who can do big, complicated data merges, set up databases, and that sort of thing. Okay, that's one end. Another end is they might have people that are data analysts. And data analysts have a very different set of skills. They don't worry so much about the creation of the data structures um, and, and the, the ways in which the data is, is collected and organized, but care more about, given those structures, how do we analyze it and extract useful information. So um, I, you know, I think depending on how the, the position is advertised and who's doing the hiring, you might be more towards a data analyst or you might be more towards a data engineer, or they might want you to do both. Some of these smaller places can't afford to have separate people, wizards and knights, wizards for wizard things and knights for knight things. They need some paladins because the, the, those people are going to have to solve many problems. Um, having, having said that, uh, what I've noticed from my friends in industry, and I, you know, I never had a real job, I've only been a professor, um, my friends in industry that talk to me, I think um, many organizations need probably more data engineers than they need data analysts. So, um, but that, those couple of data analysts tend to be very important, so they tend to have a sort of outsized uh, relevance but often they, they need fewer of them. So in some cases, I've heard you know, phrases like five to one or 10 to one or something like that, where they, they need the one uh, data analyst type person, but maybe need five data engineering type person and uh, people. And I, I think that makes sense because I think when they're talking about data engineers, they're also including uh, some amount of hardware and systems administration stuff that goes into the, to the, crea the, collection, of, um, the collection and organization of the data. So I hope this is useful. Um, again, uh, I think a lot of this is highly dependent on who's doing the hiring, but, and, and as a field, data science hasn't really uh, annealed into a, a very perfectly well-defined discipline. But if you want a little bit more about how to manage data scientists and how to think about these things, we have a whole specialization on Coursera called Executive Data Science, where we really kind of talk about these concepts and details uh, in, in detail and, um, you know, kind of go over them, you know, all the various subcomponents we go over in, in much greater detail than I'm going through here. Okay, well, I look forward to seeing you next week and remember to submit your questions and subscribe. I'll try and do one of these every week.